Hey Google admins, this is Goldie again. In this video, I'll show you how you can bulk remove Google frontline licenses from your users. Okay, maybe you have a lot of attrition or you, there is a use case where you need to remove frontline worker licenses in bulk. This video might help. We will be leveraging Google Apps Script. I'll just show you a static way where you can put the list of users in Google Sheet and the script will run, pick users or read users one by one will remove their frontline worker uh, license. In case if you need to automate it, maybe based on the organizational unit membership, that is possible too. I'll put my similar video under this video as, uh, as in description so you can watch that. For now, I'll just move myself in the corner and then I'll show you two users. First is this OK Sir. Let's do a quick refer. So OK Sir, which is an CI only org unit, is have, it has frontline user license assigned. Then I'll have another one, which is uh, OK Sir 2, which also has the frontline worker license assigned. I just have two dummy users. You might have a few hundred users. The same thing. Uh, script will run and do its magic. So I'll go to sheets.new where you will create a sheet. Let's call it uh, FLW uh, remove. Okay, you can be more descriptive than I than what I did here. And then you will click on extensions. Uh, go to app script. Under app script, let's uh, name our sheet. Maybe FLW. Uh, remove and delete the default function and you're gonna paste the script that you will copy from my website unless you really want to write it and uh, you will take this name because essentially what the script is doing is uh, it is reading the data from this sheet because here let's say here we will provide a list of user IDs so also user email IDs and here let's say status of the script run and here we will be putting the list of our uh, users from whom we want to remove or unassign frontline worker licenses okay so I have this user and then this user I'll just okay so I have these two users if you have 100 or 200 you will just put it same way and then come back here to make sure that the script can read this sheet, you need to make this name. You know, copy it. It says remove licenses. Come back to your sheet and rename it here and call it remove licenses so it can find that sheet and read the data. If you want to keep it sheet one, then come back to the script and make sure instead of remove licenses, you make it sheet one. Okay, and then it will uh, loop through all the user lists that you're going to put here and it will call the admin, uh, not the admin, the enterprise license manager API to remove that, which means we also need to enable uh, enterprise license management uh, service here. So under services, click on plus, scroll down a bit and you will see enterprise license manager API. The identifier is admin license manager, which I'm using here, as you see. Uh, if you will change it here, you shouldn't, uh, but if you still want to do that, then change in the script too. Okay, click on add, click on save, and now let's run it because this is the first time script will ask me for the authorization idly. And I will be reviewing the permissions and provide it required approval to run on my behalf. So click on permissions, give it the admin ID. Uh, you can you know read more about the permissions if you're satisfied click allow yeah, It's running Executed I'll go back to my sheet and it said license updated successfully. I'll go to my admin console It still says frontline. Let's do a quick refresh And it's not assigned anymore. Okay, so that was for okay, sir, too. Let's look at uh, Just the okay the first one Scroll down a bit and you see frontline is gone from here too. So this is how you can bulk remove frontline worker, essentially any license from your uh, from your uh, user. So for example, uh, you should, search, let's say if you want to remove enterprise license or enterprise plus license or business starter license, 
from your user. What you need to do is search for enterprise license Google or something uh, and scroll down. This is called Enterprise License Manager API. Click on that and then click on products and SKUs on the left. And here you will find the Google product and SKU IDs. So let's say if there is an enterprise user, enterprise plus license user that you wanna remove license from, then you will come back here and in this line, okay, you will need to put three things. Okay, first is the product, product ID, uh, and then SKU ID, and then the user email, okay? Email is already being fetched from our sheet. We just need to enter these two things, product ID and SKU ID. So let's say if this user had uh, maybe, let's say Business Plus or maybe Enterprise Plus. So for Enterprise Plus, I see that uh, product ID is same for all of them. So product ID can be just left as it is. But for Enterprise Plus, the SKU ID is this one. So you will copy it, come back here, and then change it. When you run it, all those users that you have put here with the enterprise license, their license will be removed. I hope that this was helpful. In case if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.